when you walk into our barn, we have uh, Psalm 147, verses 10 and 11 posted in our barn. It says, His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of a man. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Horses are good at showing us uh, what we fear and what we hope in. And our prayer is that for our students, they will put their, they will fear the Lord. As uh, in the Proverbs, it says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and um, that they will put their hope in Christ. That they will um, recognize God's rule and reign over all things as he created it. That they will um, understand their own part in rebelling against God's good rule and reign, um, which the Bible calls sin. And because God's a good king, as a good king, he rightly punishes lawbreakers in his kingdom. And that they will understand Christ's perfect life. He lived a sinless life. He perfectly obeyed the Father. And all the way to death on a cross. And in doing so, he trades us his record of perfect obedience he transfers to us and he takes on him our record of rebellion his resurrection from the dead shows that god was pleased with his perfect life and living sacrifice and uh, we can receive that free gift in john chapter 1 verses 11 to 13 um, it talks about how jesus came to his own but his own did not receive him Instead, they rejected him, but to all who did receive him, he gave the right to be called children of God. And so our students, if they put their hope in Christ, they can not just be saved, but they can be adopted into a heavenly family. And um, that was something that I needed. And uh, we hope that they see their need for it too, and that they will receive that gift of adoption into God's heavenly family as they put their hope and trust in Christ. And then, as a, as a part of the family, um, just like a, a parent gives tasks to his children to do, God gives us, uh, invites us into his work that he's doing so we can participate in that. And that turns our eyes to our hope of uh, life forever with God in heaven. And so as the, as the students come to the barn, and sometimes those horses show us what we fear or what we hope in. Uh, we pray that the Spirit would open their eyes to see their need to fear the Lord and to put their hope in Jesus. And please join us in praying for them and for guests and visitors who come and interact with our animals and in the horse program. And please join us in praying that they too would have their eyes open to their need for Christ and would receive Him and uh, live lives of faithful obedience for their good and His glory as the Holy Spirit lives in them and helps them live that out.